This work was part of the Supporting Wellbeing through Peer Befriending Study. SUPERB was a four-year feasibility randomized control trial which ended in 2020. It was funded by the Stroke Association through their first priority program award on psychological consequences of stroke. People with aphasia after stroke are at high risk for low mood and depression. In an earlier study, 70% were depressed three months after stroke and 62% remained depressed one year later. We need to know more about what interventions can promote well-being and reduce depression for people with aphasia. We explored one such intervention, peer befriending. People with long-term experience of aphasia can offer empathy, support, companionship, hope, and share their lived experience and ideas about how to cope. We explored, is peer befriending feasible? That is, can we do it? Is it acceptable? In other words, what did people think about the study? We also looked at what outcomes people achieved. We trained 10 befrienders and supported them to visit people with aphasia when they returned home from hospital and stopped having regular therapies. We compared usual care to usual care and peer befriending. We aimed to recruit 60 participants, 30 per group. Those in the befriending intervention received six visits within three months. We then interviewed them and completed outcome measures with all people with aphasia at four months and then again in the long term at 10 months. We compared them on a screening tool for depression and other outcomes such as well-being, participation, community integration and friendships. So, can we do it? 75 people met the criteria to take part in the study. 62 agreed to take part, 56 were randomized, 28 in each group. Only four participants didn't complete the study, three passed away, one withdrew. 48 significant others of the people with aphasia also took part, 24 in each group. Only two of those offered did not want to have peer befriending. Most participants completed the six befriending sessions and the vast majority at least two sessions. All 10 befrienders completed the training and attended supervision regularly. All completed the study. What did people think about the study? Participants found the study process is straightforward. They found the outcome measures used appropriate. They liked the researchers giving them time and breaks as needed and providing clarifications. Peer befrienders also found the study process is acceptable. They found the regular supervision indispensable. Overall, participants improved and differences between groups were small. Looking at the depression screening measure, those in the peer befriending group scored on average a little better at four months and a better still at 10 months compared to those in the usual care group. One marked difference was that at 10 months, fewer participants in the peer befriending group suffered from low mood. 11% in the peer befriending group had low mood in the depression screening measure versus 40% in the usual care group. Peer befriending as delivered in the superb trial was feasible and acceptable. It's a promising intervention to reduce and prevent depression in the long term for stroke and aphasia and worth exploring further.